and welcome to Stepping Out Blessed with Opal Dalton and Friends. We're so happy to be able to come out into your home today and we want you to stay tuned and call your friends and tell them that Stepping Out Blessed is on, that we have a special guest with me today, Sandy uh -huh. Simpson. I'm going to let her tell a little bit about the ministry and I, some of you probably remember where she's been on programs with me before just really honored that she's with me today mm. and she's going to have a great word to share with you today but first of all I do want to tell you again for those that may have just stumbled up on the program this is Opal Dalton uh, Sandy Simpson with me as my guest and uh, I am the founder of uh, Stepping Out Blessed Ministries and my husband and I have the Praise Place out in Coryton, Tennessee um, we have meetings out there, weekly meetings, and you can see the number on the screen. Uh, we'd love for you to come out and visit us sometime. and uh, Just call us if you'd like to have information about our meetings. Uh, we meet on Sunday. Everybody's welcome, and we meet through the week, so we do special things out there. We'd love to have you come out and visit. And so now we're going to just get right into our program today, and I'm going to ask Sandy to bless this program and this time together. And then we're going to let her tell about the ministry that she has, what God's doing with her, and update us. And then we're going to go into the Word, mm -hmm. Sandy. But mm -hmm. I'll ask you to just bless. Yes, prayer for your blessing today. Dear Heavenly Father, we just thank you, Lord Jesus, God, for the opportunity, God, to be able to come together. God, to be able to come yes. together with friends, Lord, and to be able to come, Lord, and just to see what you have for us, Lord. God, I pray that the people will be blessed today, yes, Heavenly Lord. Father. Mm -hmm. God, I pray that something can be said or spoken or done, God, that somebody could meet you, Heavenly Father. Yes, God, that's Lord, what it's amen. all about, yes, Lord, that is. the kingdom of God would be added to, Lord. Amen. God, I thank you for Sister Opal, Lord, and I just speak blessings and Thank well wishes to her and her family, Lord Jesus, God, in these programs, in Jesus' name. Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. amen. Well, again, it's just so good to see you again. You too. I always love for us to be able to be Me together. Too. Me too. And uh, I, I just want to say, you know, I, this uh, one thing is I thought of as I came to the station was how that how we have uh, times that the Lord sends us out somewhere we feel led to go. Yes. We feel led to go, and that's the spirit. Yes, it is. And sometimes He's he leads us not to go. Right. And he'll tell us when to go, when to not go. Yes. But I think about when you first came to one of my Stepping Out Blessed meetings and how we met. You came through Diana Knuckles yes, with I a do. friend of yours. Yes. She was speaking. Mm -hmm. and But I think about how that was an ordained time yes. for you to be there. Yes. I, and we connected. Amen. And you know, from Divine, what I was thinking about on the way today is Divine uh, connections yes. lead to Divine assignments. Yes, they do. And so God has got things ordered, yes. and when and He's you know He says He delights in us when we just let Him. Yes. The steps of a good man are ordered, ordered. of the yes, Lord, yes, yes. and then He delights in us when yes. we let Him. And the way we go, the way we go, yes. because we hear from Him. Amen. So I'm excited this morning, and I, I want too. you to share about your ministry. And I, I'm going to scoot back a little bit here, right. so I kind of look at you. <laughs> right. uh, well, I'm Sandy Simpson, and I'm with Walking by Faith yes. Ministries. Um, this is our 10th year. Oh, that uh, is awesome. It is awesome. That's we awesome. thought whenever we started, we would be a one-time conference, uh -huh. and um, God has blessed, and this is our 10th year in oh, ministry, awesome. and we do have a conference once a year. It's in September. It was always the weekend after Labor Day. This year, we've had to change it because we've changed locations, and they didn't have that week. Oh. So it'll be the week, at the third weekend in September, September 21st, 2nd and 23rd, mm -hmm. um, but we always have a, a super blessed Holy Ghost time. That's wonderful. I mean, he just shows up and shows out. That is our main focus with Walking by Faith, but we do so much more, too. We minister um, to the community and um, just try to minister to, to ladies and mm -hmm. to men, too, now. We have Friday Fire. That's awesome. I watch that. Yeah, so cool. yeah we are on Facebook with Friday <laughs> right. Fire, so um, send me a friend request or just let me up yes. on Friday night. Um, we have services in my home right now, and uh, we've been there for almost six months now. Time flies. It does fly, mm -hmm. um, but we just we the Lord just shows up and shows out, and we've mm -hmm. been so blessed there. And that and that is uh, I know I I haven't been able to come to fly at Friday Fire. Maybe I'll get to it. A lot of times I don't get to watch it while you're home, but I go back and watch it later uh, one yes. evening, one night, or whatever. I uh -huh. just turn it on. Is I'll go back and lay down. And I'll I'll watch it uh, just resting you yes. know? and it's always so good so you can watch it later if you don't see it on Friday night when yes. she's on at 7 to 9 or whatever she's on you can see it later yes one thing that we always do we we have uh, praise and worship and the word 
and then we usually try to cut it off when it comes time for altar call right. because like to me that. I think that's an intimate time I and do I don't want any. the spirit to be hindered in any way right. if anybody has a need so what you don't see is usually the best part right. <laughs> I yeah. mean because you know, the Holy people Spirit really falls and yes yes, saved. yes, yes. So, yes we've saved. had people saved healed delivered yes. and I mean just uplifted I mean that's what it's all about it is it is that's I tell you people need that we need to to help each other this, yes. we should live try to make things positive yes instead of the negative there's so much negative in the yes. world and just one person like we were talking you know, I was mentioning earlier about Abigail and mm -hmm. one person can save be used like Esther yes. to save a whole nation yes. a whole group of people so you know it's really important it that is. we just obey the Lord yes. and hear from him and stay on the positive side Amen. and I wanted to say another thing about your retreat before you get into something else here uh, or your conference I should say um, I have gone two times I think I did two mm -hmm. times. Yes. That's what I thought. At least twice, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and uh, they were wonderful. And I know, don't you? Uh, you have a uh, you like for the money to be into in by the August. Yes, and by so, the first of August, I believe so, is the deadline. So get in touch with her if you. It, it's wonderful. It's a what a Thursday and uh, Friday, 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 Friday till Sunday morning. Yes, Friday. to Sunday morning, and yeah. we. I mean, the food's provided. Everything's. I mean, you just Very go and reasonable, yes. um, we just have a wonderful time in the Lord. And we don't, we do have fun, but we don't go to play. We no, go to spend the time with the Lord. It's good. It's, it's a really good time. Yes. Refreshing, motivational. Yes. And uh, I was going to tell you this year, I've got plans on that weekend. I, don't know. I thought maybe this year, I didn't get to go last year, thought I was going to get to. But this year, actually, that is our. Um, that's my high school. I help with our high school okay. reunion. That's our high school reunion weekend. Oh, shoot. All right. But, but anyway, next we'll year. be praying. Maybe next year. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean. right. Amen. Yes. Uh, you want to say anything else about your meetings? or? I think just... that's it. Uh, one thing with Friday Fire, I really encourage people to work and flow in their gifts because that's a lot good. of times in the churches, they don't have that opportunity. Right. And if you don't move in, if you don't learn how, right. you never know how. Oh, so that's th right. the opportunity is given for the body to minister. And that's awesome, too, because, like you said, I don't believe in bench warmers myself. No, I neither. believe, according to Matt, uh, Mark uh, 16, 15 through 20, it says these are the signs. Go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Yes. He goes on in the 17th verse to say, and these signs shall follow them, them that, that believe. believe yes. Never does it say just the preachers or the apostles or the prophets or the teachers or the evangelists. Right. But it's everybody. We have a job signs should follow that we have Jesus yes, inside of amen, us in other amen. words and then we've got gifts and talents yes we do and if we don't use them they get very stagnant that's right but the gift the calling of God never goes away that's right whatever he's called us to do we're called yes we're called we may do things that causes maybe a, a it may work a little different way but the calling will like Jonah Right. It'll still be there. It will. And I don't want a big old fish prepared for me right. to have to get into. And, 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 you know, that's the thing. If people never step out in their gifts, they never learn how to operate. No. Because, I mean, you can follow and watch somebody else in that gift. Right. But until you so truly you, start to operate right. in it, that's you don't right. know. No, you really don't. So, I mean, I, you're doing a wonderful job. Thank you. God's using you great. And I've just seen how, you know, you've just progressed. Mm -hmm. And, you know, Another thing, promotion does come from God. Yes, it does. And if we try to promote ourselves, I'll never forget my pastor back in the early 70s said to me, Honey, don't ever make a, a promotion packets and send them out to try wow. to get an open door. Yes. Uh, my pastor really taught me that, and it stuck with me all through the years and uh, said that if, if God has to, he'll give your name to somebody, yes. your phone number, and they will call you. God will give it. He'll do it. And he did that for me. He actually literally did it. A company out of Ohio had a meeting in Knoxville, and they had called to ask me to do, uh, it was a breakfast devotion and to speak mm -hmm. at a breakfast here in town, up here at this motel, right behind the station here right. at that hotel. Um, Hyde or whatever that one is, Hyde or whatever, what's that, at Hilton or whatever it is. Anyway, this was years ago, and um, I said, well, where did, you know, like, who told you about me? And they looked on, they said, all we have is a phone number and your name. They didn't know anybody. I didn't know anybody in that well, company, and they well. were having a regional meeting. And I, f I immediately thought of that prophetic word that my pastor had said, don't promote yourself. Mm -hmm. Don't ever promote yourself. You just get filled with the Holy Ghost and the fire of God. 
You get filled with the word, and God will send you where he wants you to go. I believe the word says your gift will make a way for it itself. It will. It will. So, I mean, God has opened doors for me that, I mean, yes. it, it really blows my mind to think. Because, you know, who does know you? Well, God knows God you, knows and God you. is going to promote that you. That is right. That is right. And when we get in that, I know you've got a message here for us. That's all right. But when we get in that secret closet, yes. the word says there in Matthew 6 and 6, if we enter the secret closet, he said, and seek him in secret, and we get filled up with the Spirit of God, he's going to reward us openly. Well, if a calling is for you to minister, he'll open doors for Amen, you. Amen, that's right. And if it's for you to have a business, he'll open doors a for business, you. A business, that's right, He yes. will bless you and anoint you for what he's got for you to do, Amen. whatever it is. Amen. Amen. So anyway, Amen. you go and share right. whatever the Lord has given right. you. Um, well, I wanted to talk a little bit today about compassion. Okay. Um, and when this first came about, and usually it does, I was having trouble with some cat compassion for some people. It <laughs> seems like yeah. sometimes you go as far as you know how wow. to go, and, and in our flesh, we're done. Yeah. You know, yeah. we can't go no more. And God's like, no, you can't, but you have to because uh -huh. it's me living in you. <laughs> um, so, compassion. The definition of compassion is pity or sympathy or empathy, care or concern, sensitivity, warmth, love, tender tenderness, mercy, leniency, tolerancy, kindness, humanity, and charity. We run out of those oh, too boy, often. Boy, we sure do. Uh, I mean, I, I really hate to say it, but you're right. You know, it seems like most of the time our families are the ones that our compassion That's will right. run out fastest right. with. Or um, the business that I run, I have rental property. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> to be long-suffering uh -huh. is sometimes hard. I'd say so. And the longer suffering you are, the more they take advantage that, of you. Isn't that some, that's the truth. So you look at, okay, how can I have compassion on them? Mm -hmm. Well, you, you do have to you do have to realize that you are in a business and you do there are times you have to say no or right. enough's enough but to still have compassion for that soul right. to still be able to speak into those people yes. Um, yes. into those situations because all those things that are the definition of compassion this world doesn't live by that no. Um, no, it doesn't, they nobody it has doesn't. no care nobody has no concern no. There's no sensitivity. It's say it however you want to say it. Don't right. think about how it affects anybody Amen. or hurts anybody. And that's not what God's Word wants us to do. He wants us to have compassion. Yes, he um, does. The biblical meaning says that we are to speak up for those who cannot speak for themselves. Mm. And, you know, sometimes people, they think that they can speak for themselves or they think that they know, wow. but they don't know what the Word says. They don't know they what don't. the Word says that's according so to their life. Yes. So it is up to us to speak for them. That's Proverbs good. 31, 8 and 9 says, Open the mouth for the dumb in the cause of such are as appointed to destruction. Open the mouth, judge right, righteously, and plead the cause of the poor and the oh, needy. Yes. And that don't just mean those without money. No, Sometimes you no. can, the richest person can be the poor the and the theory. needy. Yes, so, and, and sometimes they think they have it all and they may have all the material things that they need, right. but they don't have Jesus. No. And that's yeah. what they need. Yes. Um, Psalms 82 and 3 says, Defend the poor, the fatherless, do justice to the afflicted and the needy. Deliver the poor and the needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. Mm -hmm. And that, it, I mean, if we truly have compassion on right. people, then you look and you see their needs. And it's not that you can f fulfill every need. Nobody no, has no. the financial means to do that right. but let them see a difference in you let yes. them see that you live differently let that them really care that you care because. yes you do um i had somebody that was renting from me and they had just got further behind and further behind and i hate to say this but i it almost came out of my mouth it was in my mind and it almost came out of my mouth I don't have no more compassion mm -hmm. for you. And God stopped me, and I thank God I did not say that to them. I mean, I had given and been lenient, mm -hmm. and I had talked to, and then, you know, they started talking about, well, I, I'll just take my life. I'll, and I said, uh, you know, and that's God opening up that door. Mm -hmm. 
you cannot do that. You have children. Right. What does God want? For, and, and you have to take every opportunity yes, to speak do. into those yes, people. Amen. And that's where the compassion comes from. It's not through, you know, what you're going to do for them or what no. you're not going to give them. Give no. them Jesus in every situation. Amen. In yes. every situation. And he will make it right. Yes, he will. Isaiah 1 and 17 says, Wash you, make you clean. Yes. Put away the evil of your doings from before mine eyes. Cease to do evil. That's verse 16. And verse 17 says, Learn to do well. Seek judgment. Relieve the oppressed. Judge the fatherless. Plead for the widow. And verse 18 says, Come now. Let us reason together, mm -hmm. saith the Lord. Through your sins be as scarlet. They yes. shall be as white as snow. Mm -hmm. Though they be red like crimson, they shall be as wool. It, if ye be willing and obedient, Amen. ye shall eat the good of the land. Amen. But if you refuse and rebel, you shall be devoured with the sword, Amen. for the mouth of the Lord hath spoken it. Amen. That's an oracle from God, yes. and that we need to change. Amen. We need to show people how to change. Yes, we do. It is not that Christians have everything under control no. and that nothing never befalls no. them. No. Sickness comes. We know yes, that, don't does. we? Yes, we do. Sickness yes, comes. But do. you have to persevere. You have to yes. keep going. Speak, this word. Speak the word. Hold on. Hold on to the oracles yes. of God. God. If God spoke it, it will come to pass. Yes, it will. Teach people how to lean yes. on it and learn through it. Amen. Show them Amen. the compassion and they'll be able to go on through it. Yes. Amen. Amen. But the thing about it is, we. You know, we know with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, and temperance, we know those. Yes. But the, the fruit of the flesh, if you will, the works yes. of the flesh, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, right. witchcraft, hatred, right. variance, em emulations, wrath, yes. strife, sedations, heresies, envies, murders, drunkenness, and revelings. That is what we see in the world. That is right. what the world lives by. But we have got to live by the fruit of the flesh in it all. Because if you, if you don't, you don't have compassion. No. But when you, have, when you truly find compassion in your life, and a friend of me, after I preached this one night, um, she came and was talking and she said, my kids are driving me crazy. They're doing, you know, adult wow. kids. And they were acting up and acting a fool. But she said, all of a sudden the word compassion dropped in my wow. spirit. And I remembered you preaching on compassion and I didn't have none and I didn't want that. Didn't you know, want sometimes <laughs> we want to take things in our own hands, yes. but we have to do it all in love. We have well, to do it all do it. Yes. according to the word of God. Amen. If we don't, we're no better than they no, are. No, we we're got not. down to that level. That's it, exactly. But Galatians 6 and 1 says, Brethren, if a man be overtaken in a fault, mm -hmm. ye which are spiritual, yes. restore such a one mm -hmm. in the spirit of meekness, yes. considering thyself, lest, the meekness, lest you also be tempted. Yes. And verse 2 says, Bear ye one another's burdens, Amen. so fulfill mm -hmm. the law of Christ. If we do not, we're not fulfilling no. any compassion. No. The world kicks people when they're down. Yes. They want to beat them up. They want right. to kick them down further. But on down in, or in chapter 5 of Galatians, it says, Love thy neighbor yes. as thyself. That's fulfilling the law of Christ through loving right. actions. Through loving actions. Satan's job is to steal, kill, yes, and destroy. Is. Jesus is to show love and compassion. Yes, That's amen. what he came to this yes, world for. Yes. And without that love, and we're to be Christ-like, which don't mean that we act like other Christians. It means that we act like Christ. Like Christ. Amen. <laughs> so if we act amen. like Christ, then we'll show compassion. Yes, we will. It's not easy. There's not an easy button in no, this. No, there's not. Nothing Christ did for us no, was easy. No. But it was love through it all yes, and right. compassion. Mm -mm. Yes, that's a good word. True compassion will change the way we live. Oh, it will. Yeah. We may not like it. No. And no. it may be hard. When we think of others, it will. It will but change. when we think of change others. Change our attitude, yeah. Dietrich Bonhoeff said, we must learn to regard people less in the light of what they do or omit to do and more in the light of what they suffer. Mm -hmm. 
That is big. That is big. Because that's what makes the world yes. work in the hatred and deal in the things yes, that they're dealing in because they get bitterness and through bitterness that, yes. I mean, it's just a snowball effect. It is. They never see love. They never see yeah. compassion. Something they never see joy. That. Yes. Something has to be roots there that yes. triggers it. Yes. It, if you look, most families are affected by either um, drug abuse That's or right. alcoholism. That's right. Or, you know, if you did a survey, most families are not in church. They don't, they, they don't. barely know of God, but they sure don't know Him. No. So if they don't no. know him, they don't know his characteristics. No. They don't no. know what he and wants they're for them. Their children. They're not teaching their children. So it's just a, a snowball yes. effect. We have, we will have compassion, and we will set aside indifference, and connect with those who are in pain, mm -hmm. because that's where their hatred, and the world does not talk back to you nicely. They cuss and they fuss and they yell, but remember the pain that they're in. Jesus said that we're to be the salt and the light mm -hmm. to the world because yes. he was. Yes, we are. And I'm going to do a little demonstration for you. Um, salt and light in the world. This water, and it's warm water, it's, it's pretty hot water. And sometimes as Christians, we find ourselves getting in hot water. Yeah, we do. Uh, I want you to think of yourself right now. This is this, this is an egg. This is a, a raw egg. It's not boiled. But if I put this in hot water, it's going to sink. Mm. And that's what we do as Christians. Yeah. We sink. And I hope it don't crack. Uh, it made it, I think. It, we sink. Uh -huh. And in that hot water, we feel like everything has closed in on right. top of us. Right. And it's a, a live, die, sink, or swim attitude. Right. You know, you... and. The statistics have said that if you go after somebody that's drowned, and mm -hmm. that you may end up drowning yourself because right. they're fight or flight, mm -hmm. you know, they'll fight you. They'll fight they'll you. Yeah. So, but they are. We get in this hot water, and we're submerged. We're under it. Mm -hmm. And what is it that will bring us up out of it? Is compassion. compassion, and it's love. And Jesus said, "We're the salt of the earth." Yes. So, if Miss Opal, if you come by and add some salt to some situations uh -huh. that somebody's going through. And I'm not put, talking about putting salt in the wound. I'm talking about giving somebody some love. Salt talking, food, yeah. yeah, you know, uh, putting some savor season in them. Season them, yeah. Season them good, a little bit. Good. Give, them, give them a little bit of love. Give them a little bit yeah. of compassion. And each person starts coming by and, and speaking the positive to them, speaking the good to them, then situations will start to change. Mm -hmm. And you're saying, well, you're just making the water salty. Yes, salty is the, the savor. It is the flavor. It's what adds the flavor. That's what Jesus, yes. that's what Jesus that's adds to our life, right. is the savor and is the flavor. Well, what ends up happening, things start changing. I don't know if you can see it or not, but that egg, when I add that salt, it starts moving. That's how it, it starts, starts going moving. in there. It starts because it's making a difference in this yeah. environment. And that's something, yes. And that's what we have to do is we have to make a difference in the environment. Mm -hmm. Well, when people have added love and when they start adding some joy yes. and when you start adding peace to somebody's life, then things change. So the situations change, and I forgot to bring a spoon, so I'm going <laughs> to use my fingers today. But what happens when it starts turning and churning and moving and going around, then it will make a difference. And what once was sinking and what once had no purpose and was losing everything will start coming to the surface. And I've got too much water in here today, <laughs> so my experiment may not work. But if it didn't have too much water and the compassion and everything is added in and you start stirring Just that, try it at home. that egg, try it at try home, but that, that egg yeah. will start coming to the uh -huh. surface. And that's what happens with the world. When we start speaking into them uh -huh. and making a difference in their life, things will change and the things uh -huh. that we were drowning from, the, the things that we were sinking in sin, it will start coming to the surface. It's amazing. It is amazing. And that is amazing. His love is amazing. It is. It is. And circumstances will change. Praise Everything God. will get better. Yes. And you'll start seeing, you've heard the expression all your life, the light at the end of the tunnel. Yeah. That light at the end of the tunnel will show up. And Jesus is the light. Yes, he, is. he is the salt yes. and he is the light. Um, but he's commissioned us to be that salt yes, and to be that light. 
So we need, and the word says, stir up the gift stir that is up. inside of yes, us. Yes. It didn't say kick nobody when they're down. No, it didn't. If we'll keep ourselves stirred up, if we'll keep yes. the gift stirred up yes. inside of us, we'll be able to have compassion right. and make the difference in people's right. lives. I believe if we'll keep it stirred up in us, we're because we'll remember where we came from. Remember. Yes. Sometimes uh, we're seeing so much stuff that's said and done in the negative that when you know people and you know where they've come from, but yet, it's it's sort of like the man that, you know, owed the debt. And yes. The two men. One yes. owed and they was forgiven. But the one that owed so much, he went out after he'd been forgiven. All this big debt went out. And he, somebody owed just a little yes. bit. He wanted to have him killed or just And he had up. no compassion had no on compassion. him. And we need to remember that if God can forgive our sin, yes. if he can love us, if he can have compassion on us, then he would even... that sent his son yes. to give his life, yes. Yes. then aren't we, if we have received that and we've received Jesus in our heart, we've got a responsibility. Yes, we do. We've got, we do. we're going to be accountable for then whether we have compassion or not. Well, I mean, you, you hear of churches all the time now and, well, the churches are empty. This is going right. on. That's going on. Right. Church breakup. Why? Because right. the church, the body of Christ, lost the compassion, compassion yes. for the people. That is um, right. People are hurt. People are broken. They are. And, you know, I heard it said just yesterday, everybody don't look like we look. Everybody don't act no, like we don't. like. Some people have some rough edges. Mm -hmm. But that's who Jesus came for, came. the sinner. Mm -hmm. It says he came to seek and to save yes, that which was lost. Amen. He had compassion. Amen. No one, we just passed the Easter season, no one, the things that he had before him, yes. He had that compassion yes, for them, and he never lost it. He said, if it's possible, let this cut pass he from me. He right. knew the sufferings right. that he was going right. to have to endure, but he was willing to yes, do it. He was. he was never, even when they were beating him, even when they spat upon him, yes. he wasn't ugly to them. No. And he said, Father, remember them. Yes. Remember them. Yes. Remember those that persecuted him. Right. Remember those that yes. beat him and hurt Amen. him. Yes, he Amen. did. Amen. And, you know, I know our time's almost gone, but I, I do want to say one thing there, too, that as we were giving the Christmas uh, message, I mean Christmas, resurrection message this year, one of the things that stood out to me was how that he taught right up to the very yes, last minute. He yes, did I, everything, yes, everything. Yes, he did. Every little thing that happened, he was still trying to teach yes, those he did. disciples. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Yes. And those that was yes, I just I preached on that Friday night. We observed the Lord's Supper. But, you know, it went through every day, every day of what yeah, he went through week. that week. I, I watched that later. I did. And, um, you know, on um, uh, Monday, he was teaching about the fig tree. Right. And on Tuesday, they went back by, and it was dead. Yeah. And then on Wednesday, it said he was silent. Uh -huh. Why was he silent? He, preparing, he was preparing it? himself. But uh -huh. also, I could just see him speaking to his disciples on right. that Wednesday. We don't have record of it. No. But I bet he was pouring you into know, them they even were then. Yes. Him. I bet, you know, he, he used every minute that oh, he had. Oh, and, and this has been so good, and we're using every minute. We've got, <laughs> we've got a few seconds right. here. And I want to tell you, next week, we'll be back on with Sandy. will be back next week and have another word and we're just so glad you were with us today and and be sure and tell others to watch stepping out blessed we want you to call us with your prayer request and also your praise reports yes. we are seeing god do miracles yes. signs and wonders Amen. for his honor and his glory we really believe it's a day that god wants to show himself so great and so mighty and the most important thing is if you don't know jesus that you would come to know him yes. and then other things in your life can start to shape up. Amen. We're going off for this time. Sandy's been so good to have you. Amen. But Thank we're you. going to be sitting right here and we're going to do another program and have it ready for you to come. And so come back next week and watch us again. And in the meantime, keep walking by faith yes, and amen. stepping out blessed. Yes, amen. <laughs> in Jesus' amen. name. Amen. And always remember, Jesus loves you. Yes, he God does. loves you. And Jesus is Lord. Amen. God bless. Amen.